Kwa kwa hiteu wa KTN News asubu hiyo leo karibu sana tuandamani kwa takriban saa mbili kukubasha tarifa kutoka kila pembe ya taifa hili la Kenya Lakini kwanza tuangazie tarifa hii ambayo ndiyo kuu ya leo mimi ni Suleyma Nyeri Na wagombea wanafasi ya urais wanaendelea kufika katika ukumbi wa boma sapa jijini Nairobi Kwa silisha staka baadhi muhimu zinazo itajika na tumia uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IEBC Huku shuguli hiyo ilioanza jana ikiendelea ugombea urais wa chama cha usawa kwa wote muangi wa iria haja pe wanafasi ya kuania kutokana na sababu ya kutoafikiana na matakwa ya tume yaliyowekwa awali alizungumza na wanahabari muda mfupi baada ya kunyimwa fursa hiyo hebu tumsikize Naam, uh, tuungane na, na sasa hebu tuwasiliane na mwanahabari wetu Emmanuel Toa akiwa nje ya ukumbi wa Bomasa ambako shughuli ya kupokea karatasi za wagombea urais inaendelea kwa sasa. To tueleze kile ambacho kinajiri katika eneo la Bomas na masata sana yeri tunakupata kwa njili shwari kutoka hapa katika uh, eneo la boma ambapo kumekuwa na hali ya mshike mshike dakika chache zilizopita wakati ambapo mwaniaji wa urais ambaye ni gavana wa Moranga Mwangi wa Iria alizuiwa kuingia ndani ya makao makuu haya ambapo IBC sasa ipo na ni kwa sababu jina lake haliko kati ya wale wagombea 18 ambao wameratibiwa na IBC kufanyiwa uh, ule upekuzi na pia kupigwa msasa katika shughuli hiyo lakini niko naye kwa sasa hakuna haja tuandike na mate ila tuna wino hapa eh, gavana asante sana kwa kuwa hapo umekuwa na hamaki sana leo eh, kwa nini umekatazwa kuingia tueleze hiyo kwanza well i think uh, i'll start from the background because the background uh, will lead us to where we are now uh, on 25th we returned our signatures as prescribed by law we took about six hours here with IB officials, IBC officials, they went through everything. Where we had not done light, they actually took us back because they say they cannot receive anything which is below standard. And then they received. We, gave, we had a forwarding document which they stamped, and then we had their own documents, their own receiving documents, which clearly indicated that we delivered for 24 counties. There was no commentary that they were less because we were 24 because we even counted together for the 24 counties. Then, after they were received, we kept mum. They have never corresponded to us at all. They have been saying that they have been corresponding with other, with other candidates. And we even know, they even call them at home, they even visit them at home, trying to tell them. Everybody has told us that they have been calling them. However, the last call we received was on 28th. Because the pass was supposed to be 29th. 25th at night, I think a secretary or somebody to Chapukati called my agent at 10 o'clock at night and asked them, when is the candidate ready to present his papers now? And then they were given a date of third. Now, on 29th, they released a schedule for all candidates excluding me. Just me. The same day, they started vetting the others. Yesterday. So when I saw my name was not there, and I saw it in th through social media. I came, I brought myself here. I stayed here whole day. Chepukati didn't see me. I left this place close, close to 11 o'clock at night. And he was still there. And he refused to see me. He had first of all said, when I came in, early in the day, he said, I give you five minutes. Then, from there, he didn't see me. Okay, okay Governor, you said, without, if you're not going to be on the ballot, then there no, will be no election. Finish, Is that let me finish, let me finish. I've not said I had said before, I would, I would say it proper. So, according to me, there are problems. And what I suspect is that because these, those signatures can be used by anybody, there is somebody here who is selling signatures to non compliant candidates. But those are just allegations, they are allegations, yes. They are allegations. Because if I received and they are saying they are not there, if they received and they are saying they are not there, either they were stolen, so they need to, to go and report and get an abstract, or so others they have sold. They can, there can be only two options. Because me, I was not a co custodian. Our joint document presented the documents to them. You get my point? Yes. So, they were still supposed to make me a co custodian so that we put them, might be in a safe, and there is a seal, the way exams are done. So, the, the only options can be either they are playing games or someone is selling them because you can sell them and they would qualify for anybody else. And that might be that's why you find some people being told you didn't qualify. But now you have qualified. Me, I'm told, 
umepoka umeokea zote now you are told you are unqualified the only option there is someone day pinching and selling because they are not trademarked okay so governor because this is live uh, so what next after this because they've locked you out you're, you're locked out of the race what what are you going to do next you see you see you can't say you see this kenya does not belong to one person here and i know the position and the discussed position is that no kikuyu should feature at the ballot any kikuyu who is cutting appeal across should never appear we know we know the background we are not going to allow that kind of nonsense in an, in an electoral process this kind of ethnic profiling cannot be allowed i were going to kick up on a pigia sarut they are even being told i was with a candidate there said he told me i'm told my signatures are not are not enough at ali abu aende aongeze akuje tarehe tarehe 6 you get it me they were enough and they are even not putting my name so we 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 are leading and we know that the scheme is and i even heard from brigade right here they want about three or four candidates for kalonzo they actually even looking for him at home to comply but kalonzo is not here but governor so what next after here so we, we want to get to know the exact position we are not going to allow to allow a fraudulent electoral process correct all kenyans have rights all communities have rights we are not going to allow a fraudulent sure. electoral sure. process we are going to do everything possible to make sure that this electoral process is not going to be fraudulent to other point whatever they are talking about here signatures so they are fraud on its own because they are collecting they, are, they thought they are trying to collect signatures which we did but they don't have a register of signatures to call, to counter check with if you ask them what they are verifying they cannot tell you they wrote a letter during bbi saying that they cannot be able to verify signatures because what they have is electronic but then they tell you go and correct signatures but they are saying they cannot verify signatures and they are telling you they are verified these are sick people last day <laughs> last day they even don't have a register again they switch to even verify okay so because, because they have said why do you want to tell me more before i finish because they have clearly said the register will be ready on nine the audited register so what they actually even comparing with it's not it's a fraud still because it will be ready on ninth because i they said kpmg is auditing so they have no marking scheme and yet they are marking okay how do you mark without a marking scheme those okay. two marking schemes are missing but mine is even clear i gave them signatures they either sold because it's very easy to, to sell or they misplaced i'm a kind of chonai Tumeona wenz wala mwana ofasi wako hapa wajaondoka hapa hadi sasa wamekukataza kuingia ndani utafanya nini utakaa hapa dijoni wafuasi wengi hawako hawako hapa wako Kenya wakitaka hata watu milioni mbili hapa watakuja we are, we are just starting the journey this hii journey inaisha tarehe 9 wakitaka hata watu milioni 10 mtakuja hapa hii ni area ya, ya, ya umma wamevugia wengine huko so watu wakitaka hata milioni mbili watakuja hapa kwa hivyo utakaa hadi jioni sio hadi jioni hadi uchaguzi ifanywe very good what are you saying kwani uchaguzi imeisha hii mambo this is an electoral process hadi uchaguzi ufanywe kwani uchaguzi unafanywa jioni asante uchaguzi ya jioni hii ni hii ni mambo hii ni process imeanza wakitaka hata watu milioni mbili watakuja hapa this is a public and this is a public entity hiyo sio ya mtu mmoja sio ya sio ya William na na na, na, na Laila no no asante na ma huyo amekuwa ni gavana wa Moranga mwangi wa Elia pamoja na wafuasi wake hapa ambao wanasema kwamba anafaa kwa Debeni licha yake kuondolewa eh, na tume uchaguzi na uch, eh, tume ya uchaguzi IBC kwa sasa eh, kuna magari hapa ambayo wamekuja hapa kuhakikisha kwamba eh, wanamsindikiza gavana huyu hapa ambaye anatafuta nafasi kuingia katika orodha ya 18 bora ambao wameweza kutengwa kufanyiwa eh, kufanyiwa eh, hani mdogo baadaye e, mwendo wa saa pamoja na profesa George Jakoye wa chama cha Roots Party e, pamoja na uh, Walter Mongare wa chama cha uh, Umoja Summit Party. Kwa hivyo hali ni hiyo kwa sasa nitakuwa na kurejesha studio lakini hali ni hii tutakaa hapa hadi wakati ambapo e, tutajua mbivu na mbichi. Kwa hivyo ni hayo kutoka sasa e, kwa Co Studio. Shukran sana huyo ni mwanzangu Emmanuel Toa ambaye yuko katika ukumbi wa Boma Spali ambapo uh, gavana wa Muranga Mwangi wa Iria amefunga njia za kuingia katika ukumbi ule hadi pale ambapo atasikilizwa na tume ya uchaguzi